What's up everybody, it's Alex from Everything for iPod. Today I'm doing a desk tour. Um, this is recorded with my iPhone 4S, so let me know how the quality turns out. I just thought it would be easiest to record with this, and I never actually did a video test on YouTube. So I'm going to upload straight to YouTube from my phone and see how that goes. So over here, starting on the left, we have my camera bag, which really just holds kind of a bunch of stuff. Uh, lenses, SD cards, microphones, stuff like that. Um, by the way, my camera is a Nikon D7000, if you were wondering. So over here I have kind of a little table with drawers. Uh, on the top of this little three drawer system we have Monster Screen Clean spray and some Windex electronics wipes. So I keep them up there because I like my screens clean. I hate when I have fingerprints all over everything. In the first drawer right here we have some SIM cards and um, like manuals. Stuff like that. Down here, this is my favorite drawer. It is just a bunch of iPhone cases filled at to the top with iPhone cases, mostly iPhone 4 and 4S. There's a few 3G and 3GS cases in there. And a lot of them I did videos on. Down in the bottom, we have just some like gift cards and stuff. Okay, so in this case, this kind of bubbly case, sorry for the shaky video. Um, in the bubble case, we have a sig. It's made by Signet. It's my I iPad, the new iPad. I'm gonna put a review up within the next week of that. I got got that in the mail yesterday, so I'm still testing it out. Uh, MacBook Air. This is like the mid or late 20. No, this is the mid 2011 model. Uh, I don't know the specs for it, but I think it has a yeah it has a 256 gigabyte hard drive. But I'll put the exact specs in the description. Or actually, I think it's a 1.8 gigahertz uh, processor with 4 gigs of RAM, but I'll put it in the description if I'm wrong. Right here, I have a Panasonic Lumix camera, point and shoot, and as soon as I find the charger for that, that will be on eBay. I have the Nikon ML-L3 remote, a microfiber cloth, and then the MacBook Air SuperDrive, which I really only used when I first got the computer. Um, to install software. After that, I ne never really found myself using it. But um, right here in this case, I have the PS Vita with some games. And then underneath that, I have two Apple time capsules. So that's a 500 gig, and that backs up my mom and dad's computer. And then that's a one, uh, sorry, a two terabyte, which backs up my iMac and my MacBook Air. And the two terabyte sets up our Wi-Fi network, and then we have a second Wi-Fi network, which is like a guest network. It doesn't have a password, so when people come over, it's really easy for them to connect. And then we have a Zoom H1 recorder, which I am going to upgrade to a uh, Rode video mic. The reason I had that was because the Nikon D3100 didn't have a built-in uh, microphone input, so you had to record audio externally. So now I have the D7000. It records audio through the built-in in, uh, line input, so I'm gonna get a Rode video mic hopefully soon. Right there I have some Ray-Ban sunglasses, a little USB micro SD and SD card reader. I use for my Air, and now I actually have to use for my iMac because apparently the SD card reader stopped working. But right here I have an SD card. Uh, this is a 160 gigabyte uh, iPad Classic, which is really great for holding music and uh, lots of music and videos. I use that over the summer. And then I have a little USB charger right here, so I bring that when I can't bring my Mac charger because I charge my iPhone through the plug bug, which I'll probably review soon. iPhone 4 box, just bought one of those on eBay for really cheap, so I figured I'd use it as a backup and to make some videos on. Right here, we have the Yeti, uh, blue Yeti microphone. Really great microphone, awesome quality. I love this thing, it's a USB microphone, but they do make an XLR version, if you were wondering. Little desk lamp, turn that on. Uh, that's, I think I got that at Ikea. Back there we have some, like, watches, uh, screwdrivers, headphones, stuff like that. And then over here on the left of my iMac, we have the Bose Companion 2 Series 2 uh, speaker. 27 inch iMac. This is, I believe it's the mid 2010 model, but it might be the late 2010 model. Uh, whenever they released one in mid or late 2010, that's which one it is. It has a 2.53 gigahertz processor, I believe. Let me double check, actually. Um, oh, 2.93 Intel Core i7. So, 
2.93 gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 2 terabyte hard drive, but it also in Bay 2 has a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. We have the Apple wireless keyboard. Logitech MX Performance Mouse. I love this thing. I didn't realize that I didn't like Apple's mouse until I started using that. Uh, really great mouse, and it's a lot more comfortable. If you're a righty, they don't make a lefty version, but a lot more comfortable than the Apple mouse, or like the Mighty or Magic mouse. Everything for our iPod mouse pad, which I got a while ago. Um, there's the Fast Track audio interface. I use that to get better audio into my speakers because the uh, built-in built -in line out that's on the iMac isn't really that great, or on any computer. Bose Companion 2 Series 2 right speaker. The Elago M2 mobile stand, which I use for my iPhone to dock it in, and then there's the little 30-pin cable right there. Pretty awesome. 24-inch Apple LED cinema display sits right there. Let me try to get some more light. There we go. Um, this is the older version, it's not that Thunderbolt, but I love dual display monitors, so that's really awesome, and I love that thing. I got that before I got my iMac, when I was using my MacBook Pro. In the first drawer down here, we have some hard drives, Lacey 500 gig hard drive, this is like a 200 gigabyte, uh, G drive. We have a Flip Mino HD, which I used to use for snowboarding, but now I have a GoPro HD Hero 2. Um, just some more plugs, docks, like Winter Classic tickets, just some, you know, kind of stuff that I like to hold on to. And a battery charger for an iPhone. And then, this is a reusable screen protector for the iPhone. It's made by Moshi, which I don't have on right now, but you can take that off, put it back on, wash it off. It's really nice. Some, like, unwrapped, uh, or not unwrapped, they're still wrapped. They are uh, little headphones and all the cables made by Apple. I still have them in there. Some chargers, screen protectors, everything like that. Cables that I use frequently. So, like, this is a Moshi HDMI to mini display so I can hook my computer up to the TV to watch the movies. Um, just some chargers, like, micro and mini USB cables. Stuff that I would need more frequently than special cables, like for certain devices. They're just kind of general cables. Um, software and printer and cartridges. Here's my late 20... Two, late 2008 MacBook Pro. 15 inch, it is broken, so maybe I'll sell it for parts or um, try to get it fixed. And then we have some more cables. And then I just have a receipt drawer down here. I hold on to like all my receipts in case something goes wrong uh, with the product. I'll have the receipt know when I bought it because a lot of times companies ask what was the date when you bought it and it was like a year ago, you don't remember. So overall, this is my desk. Um, really long desk right here. Stops there and then there's a little black table. Uh, really awesome though. I really like my setup. Um, so make a video response with your setup and everybody can go look at everybody else's setup. It'd be really cool. Uh, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of my other videos, and I will see you later.